The air entrance is designed to conduct incoming air to the compressor with a minimum energy loss resulting from drag or ram pressure loss, that is, the flow of air into the compressor should be free of turbulence to achieve maximum operating efficiency. The choice of configuration of the entrance to the duct is dictated by the location of the engine within the aircraft and the airspeed, altitude, and attitude at which the aircraft is designed to operate. Some of the most common locations where engine inlets are mounted are on the engine, in the wing, and on the fuselage. The type of inlet duct depends on the location and type of turbine engines. Several large commercial aircraft and large military aircraft use wing-mounted engines. In a few cases, such as the DC-10 and L-1011, a combination of wing-mounted and vertical stabilizer-mounted engines are used. In these cases, the air inlet duct is located directly in front of the compressor and is mounted to the engine. Integral mounting of the inlet with an engine reduces air inlet length, which increases efficiency. In addition to the wing and vertical stabilizer mounted engines, some commercial aircraft and a majority of small business jets are fitted with aft fuselage mounted engines. The air inlet ducts on engines mounted in this fashion are identical to air inlet ducts on wing mounted engines, the duct is relatively short and is mounted directly to the engine. Some aircraft with engines mounted inside the wings feature air inlet ducts in the wings leading edge. Aircraft such as the De Havilland Comet, and the De Havilland Vampire all use wing mounted inlets. Typically, wing mounted inlet ducts are positioned near the wing root area. Engines mounted inside a fuselage typically use air inlet ducts located near the front of the fuselage. For example, many early military aircraft were designed with an air inlet duct in the nose of the fuselage. In addition, some modern supersonic military aircraft have inlet ducts located just under the aircraft nose. Although using an air inlet duct of this type enables the aircraft manufacturer to build a more aerodynamically efficient aircraft, the increased length of the inlet duct introduces some inefficiency. Some military aircraft use air inlet ducts mounted on the sides of the fuselage. This arrangement works well for both single and twin engine aircraft. By mounting an air inlet duct on each side of an aircraft, the duct length can be shortened without adding a significant amount of drag to the aircraft. However, a disadvantage to this arrangement is that some sudden flight maneuvers can cause an imbalance in ram air pressure between the two ducts. An air pressure imbalance acting on a compressor face can result in a slight loss of power. A typical subsonic air inlet consists of a fixed geometry duct with a diameter that progressively increases from front to back. This divergent shape works like a venturi, as the intake air spreads out, the velocity of the air decreases and the pressure increases. This added pressure contributes significantly to engine efficiency after the aircraft reaches its design cruising speed. At this speed, the compressor reaches its optimum aerodynamic efficiency and produces the most compression at the best fuel economy. It is at this design cruise speed that the inlet, compressor, combustor, turbine, and exhaust duct are designed to match each other as a unit. If any mismatch occurs because of damage, contamination, or ambient conditions, engine performance suffers. On supersonic aircraft, a typical air inlet duct has either a fixed or variable geometry with a diameter that progressively decreases, then increases from front to back. This convergent-divergent shape is used to slow the incoming airflow to subsonic speed before it reaches the compressor. In addition to the convergent-divergent shape, many supersonic inlet ducts employ a movable plug or throat that changes duct geometry according to flight conditions. This variable geometry is necessary so that the duct can accommodate a wide range of flight speeds. Bellmouth inlet ducts have a convergent profile that is designed for obtaining high aerodynamic efficiency when stationary or in slow flight. Bellmouth inlet ducts are typically used on helicopters, some slow-moving aircraft, and on engines being run in ground test stands.
A typical bellmouth inlet duct is short in length and has rounded shoulders that offer little air resistance. However, because their shape produces a great deal of drag in forward flight, bellmouth inlet ducts are typically not used on high-speed aircraft. Because bellmouth inlet ducts are most efficient when stationary, engine manufacturers typically collect engine performance data from engines fitted with a bellmouth inlet duct. Thanks for watching.